Welcome to my reaction to episode 144 of Gintama. Gintoki is fighting Hosen now, and it's not going well. He seems to have just beat the shit out of him already, so uh, I really want to see what's going to happen. How they're going to take him down. Who's going to come to help. So let's get into this thing in 3, 2, 1, play. Him and his big-ass umbrella. Dual wielding did not do you any favors, unfortunately. He took out the eye, which was good, but... Got kicked right in the face. I don't know if he's knocked out, if he's going to get back up. Seita's still here. I don't know if he's going to try to get away or if he's going to stay. And then, bam, just knocked him down. It was so sudden. Yeah. Destroys the wall. We don't see his face yet. We don't know how he's doing. Maybe he somehow blocked it at the last second. But we'll see. But for now, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these videos. Gintama comes out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. If you want to see them early before they go up on YouTube, you can do that on Patreon, where I'm going to watch this whole arc rather quickly. And if you want to see other videos not related to anime that I make, that link is down below for my second channel as well. Thank you very much if you want to check that stuff out. So I think, I could be wrong about how long this arc is, but I think I know how long it is. And I'm pretty sure it goes on longer than past this episode. So I don't know what the hell's going to happen with all of it. I don't know how long this fight is going to take or what else is going to happen. But I know he's going to be a hard guy to defeat, so I could see it taking a little bit. You can't even tell me she doesn't hit him with her ass. It's just what it looks like. I'm more convinced every time. This video is brought to you by Mountain Dew. Um, thank you very much for sponsoring me. That's really appreciated. Don't trust bedtime stories. Oh, I never would. Bedtime stories are bullshit. We haven't seen his face yet. Is he is he awake? Is he conscious? Obviously he's alive, but is he is he okay right now? That was a swift kick to the face from uh one of the strongest members of the Yato clan. Kamui's just hanging out watching. That fucking face. Ugh. It's creepy. And you also want to punch him. But you also don't, because then you know he'd kill you. Get out of here. Better try to get to safety. There's nothing you can do. Kamui's not going to get in your way, so hopefully Gintoki gets back up to get in Hosen's way so that he doesn't do anything about it. Uh, is she gonna? She might not even want to do it. Yeah, 
I mean, you try that hard to, to save her after all this time, but... She's not just going to go along with it. Well, it's not just about saving you. We're trying to save this entire place and everybody. I don't know how the hell we're going to do that, but that's the goal here. So let's let's go. Let's get out of here. Her Something about her legs? She hasn't stood up. She's been sitting this entire time. What the fuck happened? Did he, like, fuck up her legs so she can't run away? She can never run away again? Oh, that's fucked. After she ran the first time. What did he do to her, though? Are they fake legs? Did she? Did he chop them off? <laughs> like, what the... Or, or, what... She literally can't... Es oh, fuck! She literally can't escape. She can't do... Uh, what a fucking bastard. That's the state that Hinoa has been in her whole time. What about when she's been standing out on the balcony? What Was she, like, being supported by something? Wow. What a fuck. I have to say, he's a little bit of a, um, little bit of a jerk. Don't want to get too, too rude about it, but maybe a little bit. Damn. Like misery, breaking his fucking ankles. Ow, the thought of that. Your Achilles. Mm, that's... No, I don't want to think about it. Look at him as a little baby. Yeah, you're just like how she's the hope of so many people. I mean, so are you, and it's not just to her. It's for everybody. But shit, he can't just leave her. Unlock your secret Yato strength and carry her out of there. I'm still, I'm, we still don't know who his father is, so I still have to assume. I am your father. We have to have that moment. He's got kind of a Luke Skywalker haircut. Seta Sutar Wars. <laughs> That's a bit of a stretch. That umbrella's huge. Well, okay, somebody, Gintoki, somebody, get up, do something. It sure seems like you do. I mean, you are, it's not even really debatable. That's not true. <laughs> I really appreciate the thematic relevance of Hinoa as the sun, but it's just like the sun has never been a problem for Kagura. <laughs> I just kind of have to ignore that. I mean, the show has made fun of that itself. 
But yeah, you kind of just have to ignore it and appreciate the meaning. That's what he thinks will let him conquer his his last weakness. To conquer the sun through conquering her. So yeah, I mean, as he said, you need her. You need that from her. Damn, kid, standing up for yourself. The sun does tend to do that. It it's, comes up every single day. Wow, yeah, look at him go! What a badass. Just carrying her out of... I guess Kentucky's unconscious. He's been over there for a while. But he's just carrying her away. He's, he's struggling. Now it'd be better if he isn't part Yato or if he doesn't have super strength and he's just pumped full of adrenaline and... You s <laughs> to, to have to be that grown up, this young, that's pretty sad. Oh, uh, or two? I mean, you could have two, but sure. Hey! We've got backup. A revolt. Alright, she's good to go. She's ready to fight again. Awesome. They're all his mothers. The sun will reflect off of all of them. You can't really bring it down unless you bring down every single person. How long is the fucking smoke gonna be around his head? <laughs> Right in the forehead. But this time he catches it. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Oh, I wasn't even going to hit him anyway. Unless he moved it after he caught it. All right, he's up. Are Kagura and Shinpachi still on their way? It's taken them a while. I understand why, but still. I don't know where they are. I don't know how big this place is. How the fuck? <laughs> Are you going to beat him in that condition? I mean, you got a lot of people here, but... And I guess Kamui's not going to help. He could just kill them all immediately if he wanted to. Nah, it's harder than that to kill him.
Yeah, I don't know if you'll want it anymore. It's been in his eye. Okay. We need our last backup, Kagura, a member of the Ato clan. Not going to happen, buddy. Okay, I guess uh, round two, everybody versus Hosen. That's what I wanted. That's what I said from the very beginning. And Toki and Sukiyo fighting together. Everybody else too. Well, shit, yeah. The man is strong as fuck. Oh, shit. Got a hit in. Oh, and there goes the sword. His hits feel so powerful. God damn. Jeez. What the hell did he just block it all with? I guess he knocked up a bunch of the debris or just blocked it with the umbrella. Yeah. Why are umbrellas such a cool weapon in Gintama? You had that cute little episode about Kagura and the umbrella, and that's cute, but now it's like they're vicious weapons of murder. And they remind me of Mr. Raindrop. But what about a son? Like a, like a boy. Maybe he is just some random, random dude's kid. Somebody? Hello? We got more people. How many... I don't know how many armed women there are here. There's a good amount, but we still got people who aren't on their side. That sucks. Yeah, you need a lot for him. So, what I was talking about at the very beginning with Hinoa being like a fake, I was partway there with her being hidden away and her legs destroyed. Not as extreme as I thought it would be. Could have done some interesting things with some kind of twist there, but that's, that's good enough. That's something. Because he hates the fucking sun. I mean, maybe so. Maybe if he's been down here for that long, getting some sunlight, maybe Kagura's built up a bit of a resistance. But if he hits the sun after that long, he's going to have a massive sunburn. It's going to be real annoying. Your skin's going to get all peely. Bring in the sun, get a giant magnifying glass, burn the whole thing down.
There they are. I guess they're going to go help him with that. <clears throat> you can take that little thing out of your hair, Shinpachi. <laughs> you don't need to keep that. Gintoki, I guess Gintoki saved her then, if they are going to help him. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, he's got to be getting hurt bad. Like, you're getting some surface injuries on Hosen, but he's getting some internal damage big time. Nope. Oh, God damn it. Got the wooden sword. A good whack to the face. I don't know how much that matters. Don't end there. Oh, well, I mean, if you... If you just want to be an asshole and end there, go ahead. How rude. Anyway, <laughs> well, shit, okay, still going. <laughs> Seems like they're gonna need exposing him to the sun to beat him, which makes a lot of sense. Gentoki's put up a hell of a fight. But this guy is just too much. They're just so lucky that Kamui and him are not on the same page, because if it was both of them... Well, they'd be dead. <laughs> Even if it was just Kamui, he might be stronger than Hosen. That might be a problem. But shit. All right, I guess that's it. Just a preview now. Oh no, there's something else. Okay. What is so urgent? That's fine. Okay, 2011. I'll mark that on my calendar. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it definitely won't. Past 2011, nobody's going to watch Gintama. It's not going to be on anymore. All right, everybody, just remember, uh, July 2011, that's when this is going to end. So just get ready for that. That's when my reaction series will end as well, 2011. So just be prepared and know that that's going to happen. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.